All right, we got Gabriel on the ride. How you doing today, Gabriel? Doing good. Doing good here. So, Gabriel, I understand you do uh, something similar to what I do for a living. I do. I do. It's it's uh, you know, a lot of people do. It. It's a it's a flexible job. So I do it on the side. And I've been doing it for about uh, for about nine months now. Um, so, so I'm sure you have uh, plenty of good stories as uh, the people watching the show uh, have noticed that we come across some few. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, uh, I had one a couple nights ago where it was a I was actually doing a lift ride and I went to go pick up somebody and uh, um, turned out in the situation where this person was being. The person who was ordered wasn't the one being picked up. It was an action, action, another person. Um, I, I arrived at the location and stuff, and um, uh, I picked up a lady. A lady got into my car. I asked her uh, if she, if you were this person, and she said that, "Oh, my dad ordered it," and uh, my dad uh, uh, said that you pick, pick me up. So I'm like, okay, so is your dad this person uh, who is uh, in this in the scenario, uh, Bob? Um, so he, uh, uh, I started driving, and, and I asked her if this was the correct address because you gotta do that because if you don't, you can start driving, and someone can be drunk, and they put the freaking you know airport for some reason, but. Yeah, I always ask. So I asked her, and she said that it was a wrong uh, address, right? And I said, okay, uh, what's the right address? And I, she told me the right address. Although, in, in this scenario, I had two, the, the first ride had two stops, right? And it's just her one stop. And as I was driving to her one stop, the person texted me and told me that. I have not picked up uh, the customer, and and that um, she's waiting down at, at, in the parking lot for me. And I'm like, hold on, wait. Who are you? And I'm like, so I, as soon as she said that, as, as soon as I read that, I said, you're not this person. You just lied to me. You're not this person. And and she said, and then she 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 asked me. She said, it, well. I have some gas. If I give you some gas, can I can I go? I said no. I can't drive you anywhere because you're on the the payment of this other guy. So I I told I told you no. I have to go back right now. This other person's waiting for me. And she said, well, can can you leave me in the side of the road? I said, okay, yeah. So I I stopped at the red light and she got out of my car. Then I had I had to drive all the way back to pick up this person. And I had to apologize to this person because some crazy old lady lied to me. So and she was an older lady too? Yeah, it wasn't that. She, uh, she looked like she did meth, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, I gotta expect enough, that not to, no offense to anybody, but a younger person to try to get over it, you, you expect more out of an older person, that's all. Yeah, I don't know. She she was a little a little a little tweaky to me, but uh, but she uh, uh You're probably not her first time doing it either. For real, uh, for real. I'm like, damn, really, time. really, son. And she and she she was hurting me up too. Like she she was like, I got I gotta go get, I gotta get to work. I'm late to work. I'm like, that ain't my problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, right. it ain't. It, 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 if, you if, if you're late to order. work, it's not my problem for your lack of scheduling. Right. Okay, you have to schedule me at the right time, and I'll be there, and I'll take you at the the, at the amount of time it takes me to, for me to drive you to to your job. Right. That that's fine. But what about the other person? Now she's making the other person late for work. You know, come on. Yeah, exactly. Like this this other person, she had two stops. I had to go. I, I had to go from from from. I don't know where you guys live, but from uh, Brandon to to uh, Tampa, South Tampa. That's what that's what that's the not, original yeah, ride was. That's not that close either. You know, and then, and then the, the other ride, she wanted to go down the street, up up all the way up Sefner to to uh, a a thing. What was it? A, a Waffle House. 
I'm like, okay, makes no sense how is there a good to change, you know, all that. Well, I, I went with it. But then, um, yeah, kind of sucks because in, in the end, the the guy got charged more. If you were if you were to battle it, I would I would totally be okay with it because it's it's kind of fucked up that this lady. Took. Yeah, I would have definitely uh, recommended. I would have tried. You, you know, you could actually go in and do it yourself if you. Yeah, if you, yeah, I, I actually so can do that. I can and, do. Um, that. I, yeah, prob I, I, I probably you, am gonna do that. You want to hear something crazy? The, the crazy thing about that story is, I want to say it was my second night doing this stuff, and oh. I was in Soho, and I was picking up somebody, say Neil. Right, and I pull up, this guy's waving me over. You know, they could see your car, what kind of car you have yeah, in the back, you know, you he's looking at me. So I assume he's waving me over because, you know, he's, he's recognizing me from the app. Yeah. Well, then, then uh, he gets in the car, and I'm like, Neil, right? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the GPS starts telling us where to go. And he's like, oh, no, 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 ignore that. Let's go, we're gonna go here. And I was like, are you sure? Because, uh, you, know, you know, that's what it says here. And he's like, uh, I was like, are you Neil? Because I'm feeling this smell fishy. I'm like, yeah. are you Neil? And he's like, nah, man, I'm Eddie. And I'm like, Eddie, you gotta get out of my car, man. I pulled, luckily, I only went like 100 feet. Mm -hmm. And then um, this guy, <laughs> the funny thing is, as it was happening, this guy's walking past and he's like, uh, I, I drive for, for Uber and that stuff happens all the time. So all the time. he even recognized it. All, it's all, so funny. all, all the time. Okay, uh, so. And, and, and you, you know, you know what, what what ticks me off is when people, you're you, let's let's say you go into an area where it's, there's a lot of clubs, and there's a lot of people walking around. They see your tag and they're like, "Yo, yo, can, yo, if I give you some cash, can can you take me somewhere?" No, man, I can't do that. It's illegal. Yeah. Like, come on, man. What are you trying? It's a cop right there. <laughs> People, you know, people are so crazy. I mean, they're that's so what I'm bold, saying. man, on some of the stuff that they're, they're willing to do. And, and man, I love, it. I love it though. That's why I record it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. You know, you know, actually, then uh, another story to say. Um, one time it was in the Gasparilla uh, uh, event parade over here in, in Tampa. Um, I was driving the whole day, making money, you know, because Gasparilla, you, you gotta drive that day. That's like the best day to drive, okay? Um, so, so I go and I, it's during the end of the night, the Gasparilla parade has ended, everyone's going home at the same time. So, me, when everyone goes home at the same time, the surge goes up. It turns out I picked up these two ladies. It was a nine time search. Nine times. So, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nine times. I think, I think people get a pay. Nine <laughs> times, okay? So that that means that anything you get, if it's from your house, let's say the base minimum is five dollars. What's nine times five is forty five. So it, exactly, if I was just taking you to your house, you char I would charge you forty five dollars for that. Okay. Um, so this lady, and and also also about a minute too. Um, these two girls, right? They were smashed. I mean, they were they were they were uh, super blessed. They, the Gasparilla is all about drinking, and I guess they've been they, these two girls were had been drinking the whole day. So they 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 were messed up. Okay, they came into the car. I. Uh, they were super drunk. I told them that I, um, because there were certain rules that were closed, I had to go a different way and I had to go on, on the highway. These two girls, they were having a disagreement. One girl wanted to go to Ferg's Live. And Ferg's Live is a big club. She still wanted to party on, you know, like a trooper. Her friend was like, nah, ho, I want I want to go, go home, you know, all the way in St. Pete, you know? Again, I said, hey, you know, you guys, I want to let you know, you, this fare right now is nine times the fare limit. I let oh, them, yeah. I reminded them once, and that's it. That's all I got to do. 
I don't, I don't even have to. I don't even have to remind, remind you guys because it, it notifies you <laughs> before you you accept it. It says this fare is nine times on your phone, <clears throat> humongous, so that you can know that it's gonna be expensive as fuck. Okay, but. Uh, so what would they choose? Did they choose the same pizza? They, they, yeah, yeah, okay, so they, these two ladies, they got into a fight. They ended up, well, uh, the, one, the trooper wanted to keep on trooping, so she went herself, right? I had a drive on the highway. It took us about two hours to get uh, about a mile from the highway into into the into the into the city so they can drop off this lady well no it took about an hour not, not, not two hours just too much an hour to, to, to do that uh so i also get charged by the minute we, we, we get charged by the minute we get charged 11 cents per the minute you know it's not not that much but an hour it's about a dollar so i guess it's nine times though so nine dollars right there um and um picked this lady uh, I dropped I dropped her off and I, t I took her friend down to St. Pete and in St. Pete for those who don't know from Tampa it is a far drive it's about maybe another another like hour hour to hour and a half drive so it it, it, it was a it was a far distance you know again reminding everybody it's a nine time surge at the end of the night they got charged around $380 for a ride. That is right. Crazy. No, they got charged four hundred actually. Four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. Cause I got, I got, I got two eighty five from that one ride. Damn. So that one ride. I made what I was what I made I made about two hundred dollars before that ride and I made more in that one ride than the whole day. That was a good idea. That, that was like bad fucking yeah, you know. Bad, but All bad, right. But they made their and choice. you know, it, it, that's what I'm saying. They made their <clears> choice. <throat> I I made it clear to them. Like I didn't want to do them like that. I said, look, this is nine times. You know, you want still want to go? Okay, okay, then fuck it. You want to run, run this shit, right? They try to argue that I went the wrong way, but again, I I wrote back. They they argued that I went the wrong way, and Uber tried to take take about hundred dollars from me. I'm like, no, no, fuck that shit. I ain't ain't gonna fly. I wrote back and I wrote a whole paragraph back saying, this is what happened. I wrote the whole some everything that that I just told you. I wrote it down, and 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 I said, look, they, they were they were drunk. I, there was co road closures, and I made it clear to them there was just road closures, so I had to go a different route than than what the GPS told me to. Too. So that's that's one of the reasons. And then, you know, it, it, it turned out to be in my favor because you know that's what happens. You know, uh, it, uh, it's just gotta be gotta gotta be uh, clear and see. Look what you're doing yeah, before you a, just press something. Yeah, that's one of the things people just say. You know what I mean? Like. Um, they don't know how to handle situations now. Um, I think Gabriel, I definitely appreciate you telling the story, man. This was a great experience. I, I, I'm, I'm glad I got to drive a fellow driver, man. Yeah. Hear some of the crazy stuff that you've been through. Cause I have some of my own stories, but to be continued, man. Have a good one. All right, man. Like almost like this, even though he has his lights on. Hey, should I say something? I'm just scared of cops. Is that bad? I'm actually a criminology major, so I've seen about like a lot of stuff. In my defense, though, but I was literally set up.